how to build more confidence in yourself and your offers. In other videos, I've talked about how one of the reasons you might be losing clients and not closing clients is because you lack confidence in your offer. And when you lack confidence in what you have to offer, your prospects can tell and they're not as excited to hire you. Today, I wanna to share with you how you can build up that confidence so that clients can feel it and they want some of it. As you know, I'm Pia Silva. I'm the founder of No BS Agency Mastery, where I help small creative agencies build super profitable small businesses that are full of freedom and flexibility without building a huge team. Actually, you can do it if you're even just one person. And one of the core ideas behind building a profitable business without having a team is that you need to be able to charge premium profitable prices. And you cannot charge premium prices if you do not have confidence in what you have to offer and the value that you have to offer your prospects. So how do we get that confidence? Well, the first trick is repetition. You see, I always recommend that people niche down and specialize in their business. And there's so many reasons why you need to specialize and focus and niche down in the kinds of clients that you work with. But one of those reasons is because when you are specialized, you have repetition working with a certain kind of client. I can do other videos about how niching isn't necessarily about an industry or a kind of business. There's all different ways to niche. But the point is, if you are seeing the same kind of client over and over and over again, you are gonna build confidence in your ability to provide value to that exact kind of client so much faster than if you are working with this client over here and that client over there and that one over there. How are you going to repeat your experience and your process quickly many times in order to build confidence? Remember, nobody starts out confident, right? Anytime you're doing something for the first time, think about when you first got in a car to drive. How did you feel? I was completely freaked out when I first got in a car and I did a driver's ed. I grew up in New York City, right? So I did driver's ed right on Broadway in Manhattan and the driving instructor said, all right, pull out. And I was like, wait a second, wait a second, which one is the brake and which one is the gas? I had no idea. I was so scared. Now, how do you drive, right? I mean, I don't even think about it. It's almost dangerous. You don't think about it and yet you're able to drive at 70 miles an hour down a highway. That confidence and that ease with which we can drive down a highway is this same kind of confidence that you get from repetition with a client. It's the repetition of driving. It's the repetition of working with people and seeing the same situations over and over again. And remember, confidence is not an either or. You're not confident or not confident. You have confidence in things that you have done before and that you've built confidence in. And the next minute, you might feel insecure because you're doing something new or because you're in a new situation. For example, the first time that I published my first article on my blog, I was scared shitless. <laughs> it was so scary. I'd never done it before. I was so intimidated by what people were going to say. The first time I got on video, so terrified, so insecure. Only by doing it over and over and over again have I built enough confidence in myself to be on camera that I have more confidence than I had before. And you know what? After I do this again a thousand more times, I'm going to be even more confident. This is something that you have complete control over. You just have to do it over and over again. Repetition is the key to building confidence. Okay, so how does this relate to your offers. I want you to remember that the first time you offer any service, and it might not even be that you've never done the bones of the service before, but the first time you offer your service in a certain way, that's going to be newer and newer things. You're going to have less confidence in them because you've never had an experience with it before. But remember, do that same thing 20 times and you're going to feel like a pro and it's going to be so much easier easier. This is also how I recommend figuring out how to charge more. The first time you charge more than you feel like you're worth, you're going to feel really insecure, which is why I actually recommend doing incremental increases in your pricing. Because if you do a project 20 times and you feel like a pro, you're gonna feel good about increasing the price. You don't have to do it 20 times <laughs> before you increase the price. But if you sell something at a certain price that you feel comfortable with, and then you repeat and do it over and over and over again at that price, you can raise the price after every sale. I have a whole video about that. Go watch that video. And here's the thing. I want you to build confidence, but I also want you to realize that when you're building a business and you're building a business that has value in it, you're always gonna be lacking confidence in some place or another because you're always 
always going to be pushing to do something new. And when you're doing something new, you're not going to have as much confidence in it. So welcome the insecurity, feeling insecure, feeling less confident about something you're doing because it's something you've never done before. That's a great thing. It means that you're pushing yourself to grow and growth in yourself and your business is the only way that your business is going to get better and do more of the things you want it to do for you. And you can use this idea of incremental repetition in all parts of your life. In fact, when it comes to your business, one of the most important things I think is that you need to get comfortable investing in your business, investing your own time in your business, like working on your skills and building your processes and all of the different things that make a business valuable, but also investing your money in your business. And the first time you do it, oh my God, the first time I invested money in my business, I was so scared, but I invested a little bit of money. And then the next time I felt a little more comfortable investing a little bit more. And in the same way that you can build confidence in how you deliver your offers or the value that you have to offer, you can do that also with how you invest in your business. So start small, start wherever you feel comfortable and then push yourself a little outside of your comfort zone every time you do it and be willing to increase the amount of time and the amount of money that you will invest in your business. Because the more you build this muscle and the more confidence you have in investing in yourself, the faster and better your business is going to be and the faster it's going to grow. And the more confidence you're going to have in asking people to invest with you. This is probably a whole other video, but the more you spend and invest in your own business, the more comfortable and confident you'll be able to tell somebody else that they should spend that amount of money or more. It's really hard to look somebody in the eye and ask them to spend $10,000 with you to build their business business when you would never spend $10,000 building your business. It's not authentic. It's not honest. Like I said, I teach all of this and more inside the No BS Agency Mastery Program. We can build your confidence in your offers, build your confidence in your prices, and get both of those to be super valuable and profitable. Thanks for watching.